Every delivery we do is different. There's sometimes where things happen. That didn't go as planned. Happen sometimes where things are loaded differently and every time you go to a customer's house, there's different products to be unloaded. This particular delivery is what you could call the drop and run. The drop and run is um, our favorite because it's the quickest, it's the easiest. Um, it's like robbing a bank, you just go in, go out, um, and there you go. The drop and run gets even easier when the customer has their own forklift, so you just pull up and they come out and take the product off themselves. And we drop off all kinds of things, including rat mouse feed. All right. We're going to take these around the other side. But even the easiest drop and runs become more complicated when you're confronted by hay thieves. Another technique is called the squeeze. The squeeze is probably our most popular unloading technique, if you will. Um, everybody wants their stuff to go somewhere where it probably shouldn't try to fit it in there, but they really want it there, and can you try to fit it in there? And that's the way most deliveries go. The scatter. The scatter is where, hey, you just get it to my general area and we'll move it from there or we'll feed off of it from there or whatever it might be. The scatter is one of the easiest delivery methods. My least favorite, the guessing game. The guessing game is the most time intensive. It wastes everyone's time and it's typically with new customers when we don't do a good enough job at the store asking questions of where this is supposed to go. I'm waiting on the gate, gate code number. Oh, okay. I didn't know, okay. Never bring the hay out here. Have a good one. I have your hay and I'm at your house and no one's here, it doesn't look like. What are you doing this morning? I've got a delivery here that goes to, all right, we're getting close. We just gotta go to the north side of Britain. They told me he'd be wearing a cowboy hat, so. The guessing game is not fun. This particular delivery is what you could call a balancing act. Sometimes you have something that is a little too long or a little too wide and it wobbles back and forth. Um, sometimes you just have to play the odds and see if you can get to hang on long enough to get to where you need it to go. Another delivery technique is called the Houdini. It is where you have to perform a magic trick to get the product where it goes. Stay on there. 
Let's just hope OSHA isn't watching this. This one's called Little Help From A Friend. Again, I say, people want stuff in a particular spot and they have their mind made up before we get there. So sometimes whether it can fit or not, or whether it's safe to put it in that spot or not, that's where it's going. Some people have, <laughs> some people have a stunt man. But not Bruce. Bruce is the real actor from beginning to end. We're good. So, I mean, not to plug ourselves, but I think when you have a can-do attitude or like a willingness to help the customer, you know, we have no corporate policy. We have no, you know, this is small business. We're just trying to do whatever to um, make the customer happy, I guess. So sometimes you have to do crazy stuff and uh, a one motto, I guess, just to make the customer happy. So, you know, most of the time a phone call of can I do this or that ends up with, I don't care, do whatever the customer wants. So usually works out in our favor. Sometimes we get bit when uh, accidents happen and stuff like that, but uh, most of the time we just are trying to help do whatever the customer wants. Tell me that wasn't from the camera. <laughs> I don't know if that was staged or not, but. We're good. <laughs> 